friends welcome back to my channel today's vlog is going to be just another little days in my life living here in thailand teaching come wednesday i will have been back in thailand for two months which is just wild to me and i think i've been here in my new city for about a month which is just crazy 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 today's monday it's september 20th it's about like 1 30 i think the morning kind of got away from me. I woke up and called my grandparents, which was really nice. I haven't spoken to them since I've left. So it was good to catch up very shortly because I had to teach at nine, but um, it was good to catch up with them for a bit. I taught, I had a couple of videos to record for a conversation class for my kids and then um, a video about fruits for the K2 kids. So I did that. I, you know, you guys saw everything. Breakfast, journal, yoga, stretch, get ready. It was a pretty nice morning. And then it started pouring. It's finally starting to clear up, thankfully. So I'll be able to hop on my bike and head over to the cafe to get some work done. Um, I have two more exams to create. Next week is exam week for semester one. So I have two more to create. Um, and then I also have some grading to do as well. Here is my to-do list. So Again, some of these things I've done, but teach, record videos, breakfast journal, yoga, get ready, lunch, still gotta make lunch, coffee shop, exams, great homework. Um, I gotta go to the grocery store to get a few things. And then um, I've got to go to the market for some fresh fruit and veggies, make dinner, and then the Vampire Diaries dinner date with my friend Vanessa. She is teaching in Northern Thailand, so we're in the same country again, but um, we're pretty far away distance-wise. So yeah, that's what's on the schedule for today. I am about to make my smoothie. I don't have a lot of fruits left. I basically only have pineapple and banana, so I'm just gonna go with what we've got. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what I include in my smoothies. I literally look forward to my smoothies every day. <laughs> like, when I'm not here in my apartment or I don't have access to a blender, that is what I miss. No joke, I was in Bangkok for last week. Whoa. And the thing that I missed most, I think, was my blender. Bizarre, I know. All right, so I've got my blender here and I'm so low on ingredients, <laughs> but I'm gonna add some pineapple. Okay, I'm gonna add in the rest of this banana. I'm gonna add some shredded coconut. I'm gonna add some chia seeds. And then I have some protein powder which I brought from home because it's so freaking expensive here. I usually only add like half a scoop. I try to like ration everything, so I'm not out of these ingredients too fast because like shredded coconut is super expensive here and so is chia seeds. Um, I guess, it's, I mean, expensive in Thailand, but it's fairly comparable to like the States. I'm gonna add a few oats for some texture, thicken it up a bit. Gonna add a little bit of cinnamon, almond milk, so. I didn't have any big ones left, so I had to buy small ones, which was kind of a bummer. That's it. Normally, I'll add spinach, but I'm out of spinach. Um, I would also add, like, dragon fruit or papaya or something else like that, but also out of it. So, here we go. And that is it. It's super easy to make. Wow, that didn't make very much, huh? Super tasty. I'm going to also pack up, like, my laptop and the textbooks that I need. Um, for the exams and I really want to head out but it's still raining I might just have to brave it and put on my poncho I'm very black and white today I stole this from my dad before I left I am back from my little afternoon out. I got oats, eggs, a bag of chips, a trash can. I got another pineapple. I love to add this to my overnight oats and in my smoothies. And this is only 10 baht, which is like 30 cents. It's really, really cheap, which I feel like I love dragon fruit, but only like these two dragon fruit were 90 baht, which is like $3 kind of a lot so i think that i need to like switch to papaya or like pineapple or just something else because it's just a little bit expensive i feel like they're kind of slowly going out of season get an avocado 
which is like a dollar. I got a zucchini, another head of cauliflower. I got some potatoes because I love to add this for like fillers with my veggies. And also I'll like slice them up and make fries. Um, I got another onion. All of the veggies were a hundred baht, which is like three dollars. But yeah, this will last me through the rest of the week. Good morning, it is Tuesday morning. It is, I don't even know what time, 10.07. Um, I taught my class this morning. I have such an easy teaching schedule. <laughs> it's really, really nice, but I also kind of feel like a fraud. So I'm finished teaching for the day. Uh, the class went pretty well. We had English, so it's just practicing like long and short forms of words and reading stories and comprehension and stuff like that so it's always fun i love these kids so much then i called my sister and caught up with her quickly um but now i am going to sit down so every morning i have been journaling and i made this beautiful journal that i love i found all of these pictures on pinterest and then we printed them and taped them to this just it's just a plain notebook that i got at a local craft store here but basically since i've moved to my new city i've been doing morning journal entries which i have never done before because i always found it really daunting i was like i don't want to have to journal every morning like have this pressure what do i say what do i do blah, blah, blah. if you guys have been following me for a while um you would know i am a pretty avid journaler i love journaling I just find it so much easy to communicate via like writing in comparison to words. I find it very helpful, um, especially with like my mental health and trying to not overthink or carry too much with me because I am a big overthinker. I overthink just everything. Like it just is something's always running in my mind. So anyway, since I started this, I have just felt like I've been setting intentions for my day. My morning starts off really well. I just feel like I've created this really good routine living here. Um, and so I just kind of wanted to share, obviously I post on Instagram and I like include it in my videos, but kind of like explain my journal process. So this is my profile. It's just emmacatherine09, same as basically everything else. Um, but I have all of these different boards, like, so my mindful mornings is kind of where I save a lot of my, um, everyday quotes, and then I have affirmations, because I'm not great about that, so I like to just get some, you know, information and whatnot, um, I also have a self-care board that I really love, and then words, so, like, those are kind of my four journal-esque ones, the rest are just, like, inspiration and life and beautiful places and stuff like that my mindful mornings like this is kind of where i have a lot of my prompts i always ask myself how i'm feeling this morning always always i also include intentions so i like to do mind body and soul because what am i doing for my mind today what am i doing for my body and then what am i doing for my soul or just like kind of how i want to feel at the end of the day um, I also like to include gr like gratitude, three things I'm grateful for, three people I'm grateful for, or even like I'm thankful for, that kind of a thing. Um, sometimes I'll do things to leave behind if I feel like I've had a heavier week, then I'll try and like kind of leave things behind for the new week. How do I want to feel tonight? I also do like thought dumps, something fun I want to do today, feelings I'm welcoming, Goals for today, affirmations, what do I need for myself, how can I support myself today, like just a whole bunch of different prompts. So I just kind of wanted to share that because I know a lot of people are obviously interested in journaling, especially with the pandemic and us being more alone. Um, I think our mental health has all kind of taken a bit of a hit and so this has really helped me with my mental health and anxiety, especially overthinking, everything that kind of encompasses that. Here are today's. We have how am I feeling this morning, intentions, what am I happy about right now, things I'm doing well, things to work on, and then a quote because I'm a big quote girl. I am going to work on this, eat my overnight oats. I made um, peanut butter cinnamon ones and then topped it with some chocolate chips, granola, and pineapple. The sun is shining, so I am going to go on a little walk. I wanted to do a HIIT workout, but I barely slept last night. I don't know why, um, but I woke up like three times, couldn't fall asleep, couldn't stay asleep, so I just like don't have a lot of energy right now. So 
I'm gonna go for a walk instead um, and I don't it kind of says that it's supposed to rain at 11 so we'll see how much time I have but I'm just wearing a little black top my green biker shorts sneakers I also need to stop at the bus station the bus stations right by the garden um, because I am going to Bangkok this weekend so I've got to figure out my bus ticket and I've never bought a bus ticket here in my city before so I gotta go figure that out. Gonna bring my rain jacket too, just in case. You never know. It's better to be prepared than not prepared here because the rain can literally come out of nowhere. Gonna fill up my water bottle and head out. I'm very excited to like get out of my apartment so early and get some sun, get some exercise. I'm trying to hit 10,000 steps today. That was one of my body intentions, but will that happen? We'll see. I am back from my walk. It was so good. I think I clocked about 9,000 steps. I was walking for like an hour and a half, which is about double what I normally walk. So it was really good. I'm super, super hungry though. So I am going to make eggs, avocado toast, and then my protein smoothie. I think I'm gonna try out a new coffee shop today. I'm hoping that they're open. The pictures on Google Maps look super cute. It's very, very close to my house. Um, so I think I'm gonna head over there and check that out. Um, I have some grading to do for class. Um, could do some more prep for this next week. I think I might review some of the exams and just make sure that I don't have any typos. It all makes sense. Got my bus ticket, super easy. They were awesome. So that's all sorted. The journal, that's what I forgot to mention earlier. So my friend and I are like designing these journals. I'm designing more of like a mindfulness one and she's designing one for guys, which I think is gonna be awesome. Um, so I kind of want to work on that and like our brand name and logos and all that kind of stuff. So I am about to head out for the afternoon. It's already three o'clock. So I'll probably just hang out until about 5, 5.30 and then come back to my apartment to start dinner. My tank is from Shein and then my skirt I thrifted so I don't know where it's from. And then I've got my Converse on. Feeling a little cute. I got a terrible, terrible tan from the walk earlier. It's so bad and I don't really think I'll be able to like even it out for a bit because um, I'll be in the city this weekend, so I can't like go to the beach and suntan. Um, but yeah, I'm all packed up. I also spent about 30 minutes cleaning my apartment, so it just gets so dirty so quickly. Um, but yeah, I did all of my dishes, organized, wiped down my counters. Um, I swept my floor, made my bed, organized my closet ever so slightly. I'm gonna head out to the coffee shop. I'm excited. This place just looks so cute. So I hope that it's open because my other favorite place is closed today. It's really weird. Like some of the cafes here are closed on Monday, some on Tuesday, some on Wednesday. So you kind of just gotta bop around and see which ones are open. 